In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve trigonometric equations where sometimes we need to use the identities to make substitutions into the equation to manipulate the equation. Now the reason that we want to do this is that it's often easier to solve a trig equation when the trig equation is based only on one trig function as opposed to multiple trig functions. Now you'll need to know how to use the identities when it asks you to solve algebraically as opposed to graphically. If it's graphically, then you can use Desmos or the graphing calculator. So let's take a look at the first two examples. So it says to solve each equation algebraically over the domain from 0 to 2 pi and give exact values. That means that we're going to be using the graph or we're going to be using the special triangles. So this first one here I see has a sine 2x. So whenever you see sine 2x, the first thing you should do is to change it to its trig identity, which is 2 sine x times cos x minus cos x equal to 0. Now in this question here, we don't want to change the cos x to sine x or sine x to cos x. Actually, it's very difficult to do this. So what we're going to do is factor out a cos x, because I can see both of them, both terms have a cos x. And when I do this, I get 2 sine x minus 1 equal to 0. And this is good, because what I now have are two separate factors. So we can set each factor, cos x equal to 0, and also 2 sine x minus 1 also equal to 0. So now cos x is equal to 0. I'm going to go to the graph, which looks like this. And cos x is equal to 0 at this point here and also at this point here. And I know that those two points are pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. The second equation I have is sine x is equal to a half. Now to solve this one, I will need to use the special triangle. So opposite is 1, adjacent is 2. So I know that this angle down here has to be pi over 6. And this is root 3 on the bottom. So x reference angle x is equal to pi over 6. Now the other angle for sine, where it is positive, is in the second quadrant. So in the second quadrant, I get that angle by taking pi minus pi over 6, and that gives me 5 pi over 6. So now I have two other answers for a total of four solutions for this first equation question. All right, now in the second one, I do have a sine squared x, and I also have a 1. So this is actually something that I've seen before. 1 minus sine squared x, we actually know from one of our identities, is cos squared. So I can take this to be 2 cos x plus cos squared x minus 3 equals 0. So let's now rearrange this. So this is, so sorry, let's repeat that. So 1 minus sine squared x is equal to cos squared x. Let's rewrite this in descending degree order. And when I write it like this, I can see that it is a quadratic. So I can factor this, and this factors to be cos x plus 3 times cos x minus 1, and that equals 0. And solving each of these factors, I get cos x equals negative 3, and cos x equals to 1. Now the first one, cos x equals negative 3, I know that there isn't any value here because the cos x graph, it only goes up to positive 1 and down to negative 1. So this will have no solution. And then cos x equals to 1, drawing this graph, I can see that point is right here, and that occurs at an angle of 0. So my only solution to this question is x equals 0. All right, let's take a look at one more. So here we have sine squared x is equal to half tan x times cos x. So we have three trig functions here, which isn't so nice. So let's see what we can do. Let's first take our tan x, and let's change that to sine x over cos x. 
and that's times cos x, and that's great because now my cos x's can cancel off. And let's move all our terms to one side. So I have minus half sine x equal to zero. Okay, now we can factor this as um, a quadratic, but I can actually find it easier just to say, take out this sine x. So let's factor out a sine x. And then I will have sine x left minus a half equal to zero. So now I have two factors. So I have sine x equals to zero. And I also have sine x equals to a half. So solving each of these independently. So I'm going to draw my graph. And I need the graph to solve that sine x equals zero. And this occurs at zero and also at pi. So this is x is zero and pi. To solve the second one, I need to draw my special triangle. So sine x is one over two. And that means that this angle down here has to be pi over six. This is root three. So then my x, my reference angle x equals pi over six. And we know that this angle has to be in the first quadrant and also in the second quadrant. So just like the one that we just did above, the second angle is going to be phi pi over six. So again, we have four solutions. So sometimes you can see that we have four solutions such as A and C, but when we look at this one here, there's actually only one solution. So there can't really be, it's hard to decide if there's a pattern or not. So you'll have to solve each of them and then do some checking. And then that's it.